Hello everyone, welcome to this video in which we will talk all about the new DSM and Humble Simplifier X, the new zero watt all analog dual amplifier. I'm Daniel Schwartz, engineer and director of DSM and Humble from Chile. Stay with me to find out everything you need to know about this new device. After the success of our previous products, the Simplifier Classic, the MK2 and the Deluxe, we have never stopped listening to our users and looking for improvement. Searching for the holy grail of great tones, versatility, practicality, and functionality. The result is the new Simplifier X, the most advanced all analog DI solution for musicians in every situation, like live, studio, silent practicing, in the small or big venues. The Simplifier X features two completely independent amplifiers, Amp A and Amp B, with their own inputs, preamps, power amps, cabinets, effect loops, and outputs. Okay, we know, it can look a bit intimidating at first glance with all these knobs and switches. But trust me, if you know how to use an amp, you will intuitively know how to use every feature. As every knob has only one function, and there are no hidden menus and multiple levels of cryptic settings. What you see is what you get here, so plug, tweak, and play. The Simplifier X has two amps. Each amp replicates the complex interaction between each stage of real tube amps, sharing the same topology, voicing, and feedback. There are characteristics of the real thing. To get not only the sounds we love, but also the feel of playing in an actual amp. Amp B, the one here, named the classic MK2, has the tones of the most iconic amping in the stock form, same as our simplifier MK2. And Amp A, our hot rodded version of these amps, this gives extra versatility and extends the range of achievable tones. You can immediately see that we took great care in designing the enclosure to fit it nicely to, to your pedal board. With all the inputs and effects loops at one side and the outputs on the other side. This way it's easier to place, you, place it in a corner of your pedal board or over your desktop if you want and keep your cable routing neat and tidy. On the right side, we have the switches for different modes, reverbs, and channel selection. And on the left side, we have the headphone and axillary input that now can be routed with this little switch, ideal if you want to play through the PA with backing tracks. Each amplifier is divided into blocks. The preamp section, the power amp section, the cabinet section, and the master level. The FEX loop is located between the power amp and the cabinet, so you can control the send level with the master volume to avoid overloading the effects on the loop on the, or any of the following stages. We included a mono loop switch in case you have a mono effect and want to have that effect on both channels when not using a full parallel configuration. So what's new on this simplifier? We included two independent amplifiers that can be used in three different modes now. Mode one is full parallel. That is, completely independent amps for left and right, each one with their own effects, reverb, inputs and outputs, including a stereo through signal. Ideal for players that look for super wide stereo ambient sounds and can even use different input effects or even play with a friend or a bandmate, one with their own amp in effects. Mode two is mono two-channel amp, but with the stereo fixed cabinet, just like the deluxe. You can select channel A or B and have different effects and caps for left and right, keeping the signal stereo. Perfect if you need to alternate amps and gain stages, but keeping the stereo effects loop and different cabinets for each side. And mode three is a mono A, B, amp and cap selecting amp A or amp B completely. 
including the effects and the cap sims. In this mode, both outputs are the same mono signal playing A or B according to the selected channel. This is great when you need to alternate a specific cap response for rhythm and lead tones, for example. Another new useful feature is the option to have the auxiliary input signal into the main outputs. Very useful and fun to use and play with backing tracks, for example. And of course, the amps. We went all the way to create the ultimate analog zero watt amplifier and started with the amazing tones of the simplifier MK2 materialized on the tones of channel B. The three main classic amp models are the AC Brit, based on the venerable 60s AC30 with its hot biased EL84s and no feedback power amp, and a creamy blue Alnico open back 1x12 speaker. The USA is based on the basement amp with high feedback, a tight 606 power amp that grows when pushed, and equipped with a 2x12 eminence black speakers. And the MS Breed, based on the powerful Plexi with its EL34 power and punch and grid, and a 4x12 greenback cabinet for that low end and sizzle that defined rock and roll. But now we, had, we added channel A with a hot rodded preamp version of these classic amps. On amp A, the preamps are based on the AC30 with top boost. The USA hot rod with that creamer, higher gain than its older brothers. And the MS-800, a full tilt rock machine for those soaring leads and tight crunch rhythm tones. Both amps are capable of pristine cleans up to high gain leads, but the different gain structures make them match gains at different positions. Also important to notice is the effect of the power amp drive on the overall tone and the feel of the amp. The balance between preamp gain and the power amp gain has always been a staple of the greatest guitar tones and the Simplifier X allows you to get them without bursting your ears. And all this is topped with three modes of reverb. Room for those bluesy vintage tones, ether for special ambient goodness, and plate for most applications. You can control the reverb mix for each app independently and switch it off with included footage. Now let's try with channel A amps. With the Vox, you will see that it's a little hotter and more aggressive. But you can also get clean tones from this channel. Now we can go to this hot rod fender mode. It's much more creamier than the older versions. Check this out. And the Marshall tones. More sizzle. They put some power amp and preamp gain going up at the same time. You will see the compression that it has. <laughs> Thank you. 
how it does everything. Okay, now let's try the parallel amp configuration. Now we have amp A and amp B, each one with its own input, effect loop, outputs, and even their own through output if you want to connect uh, to your stage two amps. Um, one famous configuration to use this is, is having a Fender on one side and the Marshall on the other side. And um, you will see how good it sounds. you of something hey and if you feel lonely you can play with someone else Hanno <laughs> <laughs> 